Hello everybody, Damascus Fox here, bringing you another look at video, and today we'll be looking at this guy. This is the Spyderco DLT Trading Exclusive Indela with the red and black uh, zoom, zoom pattern. Zim, zoom, 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 uh, pattern that they have on their website, which is pretty cool. Uh, now this is a DLT trading exclusive. So when I review this uh, knife, I'll probably reviewing it, reviewing it like I'm reviewing a uh, basic Indela. So just keep that in mind when I do review it. Uh, but I'm going to pretty much just review the design of it, which is going to be the same as the uh, regular uh, Indela. But this one's a, a tad bit different than uh, some of the... There's a lot of Indelas out there. Uh, but I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the specs here. And uh, there will be another video coming in the future of a uh, full-on review. Steel on this guy. This is a DLT trading exclusive. So this guy has... You can see, you know, uh, this way. Right there, CPM 20 CV, ooh, 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 so tasty. Uh, then this also has FRN scales, or handles, yeah, yeah, FRN handle, um, which is uh, okay. Uh, not really big on plas uh, plastic uh, handles, but it works. It feels solid enough, and feels durable enough. Keeps it lightweight, so that's good. Uh, the blade style on this guy is a uh, drop point, you know, Spyderco kind of drop point, weird ass. Uh, blade uh, shapes, but really cool and interesting blade shape. So it has a drop point with a flat grind, that full flat grind that we all know and love from uh, Spartaco. Yeah. Love those. Really nice. Uh, this guy is made in Japan. So if you're not familiar with Spartaco knives, they have a lot of uh, areas where they uh, manufacture their knives. They have their American made uh, ones, which are like this guy right here, the pair of three made in America. Uh, this guy's made in Japan. They also have some knives that are made in China and some knives that are made in Taiwan. So, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind when you're looking for them because they have a bunch of uh, manufacturers. Um, and let's uh, do the cut test before I forget. Where's my paper? This is a survivor from my previous video that I've already used as a cut test. I've never used this knife, and I have never uh, sharpened it. So this is out-of-the-box factory edge. And that is nice and smooth. Super slicey. Ooh, yes. Damascus-like. I was talking in third person. I bet everyone cringed when they saw that or heard that. Yeah, I love a full flat grain. Makes it really good puncture. Doesn't really have the best uh, tip for stabbing, but it's still... Well, actually, no, that actually still would really... It has a uh, sun, sudden bend right here, but it's actually still really pointy right here, so that still is really good for puncture tasks. Get all this garbage out of the way. All right. Uh, then... Uh, price on this guy uh, this you know this is being an exclusive so unfortunately this one is out of stock particularly so this one was uh, 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 94 dollars and 99 cents for this DLT trading exclusive but it's um out of stock and I don't think they're going to be bringing these back I'm not entirely sure uh, so that's the price of the exclusive but the Indela uh, has a, a wide variety of versions that you can get with different colors, different blade steels, different blade shapes, serrated, not serrated. Uh, there is a lot that you can um, do, and I'm not going to list them all off because that's going to be a lot of pricings to lift off, uh, uh, list off. So I'm just going to give you a uh, range. It's going to charge you from anywhere around $92 through, through somewhere around $150, give or take, somewhere around that ballpark. Uh, so that's where the Indela's... Uh, will uh, ch uh, charge you depending on the model you buy. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. This is a pretty interesting knife. I got, you know, I'm going to review this knife and tell you my personal opinions on it and stuff like that. Uh, one of the things uh, is like, I would have never bought this knife myself. I got this from uh, DLT Trading's um, uh, mystery boxes and they uh, sent this knife in their mystery box, which was actually pretty cool. And I'm actually really glad they did because I would have never bought this knife uh, on my own because I usually go for a compression lock when I buy from um, Spartaco, as a lot of people probably do. Uh, but this is actually a really nice and effective uh, back lock. And I'm going to 
uh, was it talk about a little bit more about that in my uh, review. But until then, this is just a basic look at. So I hope you like this video. If you like more knife and easy related content, check out my other videos. Remember to subscribe because I post every Saturday and every other Sunday. There'll be more knives and more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye.